A happy uh, Friday morning to you. This is Pastor Scott coming to you from Ascension Lutheran Church with today's video from our serving challenge um, here at Ascension. Today is day 27. Wow, that's uh, we're almost, uh, I suppose it makes us two thirds of the way there, just over, and almost three quarters of the way uh, to completing this challenge together. And today is the first of seven days on the uh, fourth aspect, which is ability. So we've had attitude, availability, action, and now ability. So the fourth <clears throat> uh, challenge, or aspect of the challenge, I should say. And today, Pastor Zach introduces um, the, this aspect by talking about unlikely heroes. And he talks about the, the gentleman who created the boat that was used um, when they stormed the beaches of Normandy on D-Day and uh, how somebody unlikely, uh, very far removed from the war effort, made such a big impact upon it. And today I stand in front of the, the pictures of the pastors that have served Ascension Lutheran Church and uh, to draw attention to the fact that each of us has different gifts or had different dif gifts, uh, some of us past tense, I suppose. Um, but each of us called to serve, to bring our abilities to the call to serve this congregation. And while that certainly is true of pastors, it's true of each and every one of us that we've been uniquely gifted and are called to use those gifts no matter how um, insignificant we may think they may be or um, no matter how insignificant what we might be doing might seem to us, the reality is um, it can and does and potentially will be have a large significance um, as uh, we think about serving and being the body of Christ together. We was talking about pastors. We had a, a pastor um, who was our pastor when we lived um, in Las Vegas, and we're attending a church plant, and he had this vision that he would be the pastor of a congregation of a thousand people someday, and we worshiped at less than a hundred. Um, and over time, knowing him and uh, his son had gone into ministry, and then I went into ministry, he began to understand that vision is that maybe a thousand people would be affected by the ministry he had had in his lifetime, maybe not all worshiping together at one time in one sanctuary, uh, one worshiping community, but that the impact of his ministry might uh, reach a thousand. And, and maybe it has, uh, and maybe it will. Um, certainly difficult to, to quantify that, but, but the reality is being called to each circumstance and, and using our gifts, using his gifts, me using mine and you using yours to have an impact to love and serve our neighbors um, as we have been loved and served by God really is the calling. So the abilities that we've been given, part of the, the process or the goal in this week's um, looking at this aspect is going to be to identify those. We've talked about taking action. We've talked about being available. We've, we've talked about having an attitude like Christ. And now it's really then saying, what am I gifted for in this season of life? And, and sometimes I think that, that gifting changes. You know, I'm a second career pastor. <laughs> you know, were, were my gifts any different before? Maybe, maybe slightly. I, I think personality-wise and stuff, I've remained pretty consistent. But there's a development of gifts as well. And sometimes some gifts rise higher based on the situation or the circumstance you're in. And those are the ones that you're using um, most often where in my previous career in, in food service, there was a lot of hospitality, a lot of serving that way. And the way that I, ways that I serve now are, are different. There certainly is hospitality, but there's teaching and encouragement and other, other things as well. So as we um, enter into this uh, time to be thinking about our ability, our giftedness, encourage you to uh, begin to reflect on that for yourself. And, and if you've been here a while, I know um, some of our folks have, to think about the different gift giftedness of the pastors who have served here at Ascension, each called to uh, serve this worshiping community, but each with a different giftedness that helps um, make us who we are and has helped bring us to this time and this place where we are gathered in this medium. Um, which would have been unimaginable even when I first came here a little over five years ago. 
It's great spending a part of the day with you. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning, Saturday morning. Again, I give you permission to sleep in. The video will be ready for you at 7, but no need to, uh, to get up early to catch it. It'll be available whenever you wake up. Uh, it's been good spending this part of this day with you. See you tomorrow. Take care.